So hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today what we're going to be making is this scissors paper rock game. So here is a layout of the style of game that I want to create. So I've got a few buttons, I've got the picture boxes, and I have a few labels. So now let's go and put this into Visual Studio. So th the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just going to create a new Windows form. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it out just like I did in my design. So I've got a few buttons. I have the picture box. Now with the picture box, I need to import my resources. So if I go to my resources and put in you know, paper, let's make the box a little bit bigger. I have another one for rock. And I also have the last one for scissors. So now what I need to do is I need to put them all over each other. I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I've put them all over each other. Okay, so I need to copy and paste that. So I have that on this side. And I also need some labels. Okay, and I'm just gonna make another label over here. Okay, so now I've got everything set up. All right, the next thing I need to do is I need to label all of these things. So it's gonna be wins, losses, and draws. So to do that, I need to click on it, and I need to click on in the appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna call the first one wins. The second one is going to be losses. And the third one is going to be ties. So now it's looking a little bit better. Um, I also need to label the buttons. These are the buttons that I will choose. So there's going to be rock, paper, and scissors. Okay, I will also need an exit button. So I'm just going to put that down there and call it exit. Okay. So once we have our design, right, we now can you know, start to actually put some you know, uh, programming behind it. But to get to the code, what I have to do is I have to double click on you know, certain elements. You know. When the form loads, I want all these picture boxes to be invisible. Okay? So now if I look at the uh, design of the picture box, that's going to be picture box 4, the one behind it is going to be picture box 5, and the one behind that is going to be picture box 6. On this side, it should be picture boxes 1, 2, 3. So the first little bit of code is, I want you to click on the form, and just double click on there. And so now, when the form loads, we can tell that it's loading by this form 1 load, I want you to copy and paste this code. Now, it's basically saying that picture box 1 to 6, the visibility of it is going to be false. Now if I test that, okay, you can see that the picture boxes are gone, okay? And that's exactly what we want to happen. So anyways, the next little bit that we have to do is now that we've gone back to our design, okay, I want to, when I click this button, I, I want the picture of the rock to appear. Okay, so you're gonna have to find out which picture box your rock is related to. So I can see my rock there, and the picture box is number two. All right, so what I'm going to do is double click on that button. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to put it down here. But for picture box number two, I want that to be true. Okay, so when I click start, and I click that, the rock pops up, perfect. Now, the next step, what we need to do is, when we click this button, we need to generate a random number between one and three. 
and whichever number it is, one, two, or three, it will tell us which, you know, like thing do they have, like is it rock, is it paper, is it scissors. So first let's go and let's generate the random number. The first little bit of code, and it's going to be underneath all of the picture box stuff, is we are going to dim R&D as new random. Now, that line of code basically means that every time you start the application, a new random number is generated. So now what we are going to do is we're going to set up a new variable. So we are going to say dim comp, which is going to be the computer's choice, as an integer, okay? Which means that it has to be a whole number. So now we've set up that variable, we're going to use that variable. We're going to say that comp is equal to rnd dot next, okay? Open bracket, three plus one. Now, this will generate a random number between one and three, and because zero was involved, that's why we have to press uh, plus one. All right, so it gives us a whole number between one and three. Okay, so let's now test if that works, okay? I'm going to get a new label, okay? I'm just gonna put the label over here, all right? And this is going to be uh, label eight dot text. So going back to that button, I'm going to say label eight dot text is equal to comp. All right, so that means that the text of label A will show this variable comp, which should give us a random number. So let's test that. When I click it, it's one, two, one, two, three. All right, perfect, working fine. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the next part of the game. So now we need to say that if the comp, the variable comp is equal to one, then a few things happen. Now, I have to find out, you know, which one of these pitch boxes relates to what. Okay, so this is picture box four, which is scissors. All right, so if I click on rock and the computer gets picture box four, okay, which will be, we'll say is comp one, then scissors or rock will be scissors, okay? So what we have to do is we have to go and say that. So if comp is equal to one, then we'll say picture box four dot visible is equal to true. And then we need to say this label, we'll say um, label seven dot text is equal to, we'll say, um, you know, player wins, okay, because rock is, you know, rock will beat scissors, okay, okay, so I click rock, rock comes up, okay, the computer's choice was one, one is related to scissors, so it says player wins. Now, this stuff down here is where we need to calculate the how many times you win, how many times you lose, so what we need to do is we need to set up, you know, a few variables for wins, losses, and ties, okay? So let's go and do that. Now, because wins, losses, and ties, they will be global variables, okay? So now we're gonna say um, dim wins as an integer. Okay, and we're gonna set the integer to zero. We are going to say dim wins uh, dim losses as an integer also, and we're going to set that to zero. And we are also going to have uh, dim ties as integer equal to zero. Okay, so now we've set up the global variables. Now we can use the global variables down here. Wins equals wins plus one. All right, so now when this, you know, um, decision happens, all right, so if comp is equal to one, all right, we turn on that picture box, we display the message player wins, and we set this to increment the counter. So now all we have to do is do the same for the other two options. 
So we do that by saying else if comp is equal to 2, then we will say um, the next picture box is equal to true, so that will be picture box 5. Label 7 dot text is equal to um, it's a tie. Okay, and then we're going to set up our ties variable and we're going to increment that. So we're going to say ties equal ties plus one. Now we haven't really displayed these messages just yet of how many wins and how many ties, but we'll do that in a sec. Else if comp is equal to is equal to three, then we're going to just copy and paste the code and we're going to say that that's going to be picture box six and we're going to say player loses okay and we'll say okay so now all we have to do is display the wins, losses and ties in these labels so label 4 will be ties, label 5 will be losses, and label 6 will be wins. Is equal to... Label 5 was losses and label 6 was wins. Okay, so now let's try that out. So it says player wins, okay, so that's fine. It's a tie, player wins, and do you see how the, the counters are working? Okay, so now that code for this button works fine. So now all we have to do is pretty much copy and paste it to the other two buttons, and that's pretty much it. So all I have to do is I have to get all of this code that I've just created, okay, go back to the other buttons, so the scissors were picture box three, And the, and the paper obviously must be picture box one. Okay, so now we just have to change, you know, these things around. So if we pick scissors, scissors up against scissors would mean that it's a tie. So I have to go back and I have to just swap these around. But if scissors is up against picture box five, which is that, which is the rock, then the player will lose. So I just have to swap these around. Okay, and it's the same for the rock okay when we look at the rock picture box four will be okay so if paper goes up against scissors then they will lose okay but if paper goes up against a rock then the paper wins Okay, and then finally, paper against paper, it will be a tie. Now, it is a little bit confusing, so you have to make sure that, you know, really, the whole point is, if you have meaningful names over here, it will make this, you know, job a whole lot easier. But anyways, so let's now view the program, and let's see if we did it correctly. So, rock, it loses against paper. Okay, that's fine. If I click paper here, all right, I lost against scissors. If I click 
uh, scissors on this side, then all right, it's a draw. But my statistics over here aren't working. Now, the part of the code that was doing that is if I look at Rock, Rock was all set up fine, all right? Wins and wins, ties and ties, losses and losses. But if I look at the other ones, I have, um, so losses should be here. Okay, I need uh, wins to be here. And I need to do that for the rest of the buttons. So now when I play it, okay, so tie will increase that, losers will increase that, a win will increase that. Cool, my game is working now. The last bit that I'm going to do is just, you know, put the code for the exit button. And that's very simple. All I have to do is double click on that and the code for that is me.close. So, there you have it, a very simple scissors paper rock game. Obviously, you know, a bit of time should be spent in, um, you know, designing and, you know, organizing your stuff, like even changing the name, the form name, um, maybe even making like a menu bar, things like that. But that is your first, um, you know, little taste of programming. So good luck and let's see if you can make some of these games.